Okay, this is where we left off last time, kind of summarizing Agnew's strain theory, basically saying that anger led to revenge, aggressive behavior, and ultimately criminal uh, behavior or a criminal act. Okay, um, now I want to take just a uh, real brief, you know, a couple minutes to try to explain the difference um, between Agnew's general strain theory and Merton's strain theory. Okay, both of them are basically connected to one another. It's just Agnew took a little bit of a different viewpoint. So, uh, for example, here, both associated with goals uh, imposed by society. So, yes, it's uh, societal or cultural um, goals or expectations, aspirations, and so forth. But, as you can read here, Merton focused on societal pressures of attaining material goals, meaning, oh, well, it's society that's forcing you to <clears throat> to think that you have to attain these material monetary uh, goals like we discussed earlier. Whereas, you know, Agnew doesn't really take that approach because remember we said that Merton focused on, uh, you know, besides the money side of things, he basically said it's kind of socioeconomic. Okay. It's, you know, what you have in that realm. Other factors go into it, but it's mostly uh, socioeconomic. Whereas Agnew basically says, well, it's not just the material aspects of things that society needs to strive for. You know, you have, there are other things of value that people should strive to be or to become. <clears throat> and uh, also said that there is a um, personal perception aspect of it. It's not just simply, can you attain X, meaning, you know, some material thing. No, it's saying, how do I individually perceive the world is treating me? You know, and do I feel like I'm disadvantaged, whether I am or not? It's all about the perception of the relationships you have within that society. Like it says, social relationships. Um, so, yeah, a lot of it is just that personal aspect of what you think it actually is. <clears throat> so I hope that was helpful to try to explain uh, the difference between Merton and Agnew strain theory. That's all this video is going to be. Next time when we pick up, we're going to talk about um, the role of victims, uh, victimology, what that really is. And so hopefully we'll be you know, finishing this up here in a couple uh, videos. But needless to say, just want to give you a summary of Merton strain theory and Agnew's general strain theory. <clears throat> so uh, I will be back with you when we talk about the victims and